I decided to remove the old uh, flapper style EFI engine, oh, engine management that is, and replace it with the hot wire, st slightly later style. So that's the uh, later ECU and engine management fitted now and tested. Seems to run fine. I had to detune the engine slightly. It's set at uh, 6 degrees before top dead centre, which was top dead centre on the old Jetronic system. Otherwise, not that much difference between the two systems. If I look at the old one here, uh, what's been deleted is this extra fuel cold start injector, the mechanical or kind of electromechanical, the extra air valve, um, and this resistor pack for the injectors. The big thing there's always known about them is this flapper air flow meter. You can see this was the old style flow meter which is basically a big resistor in here, variable resistor. This hot wire system here. There's no longer any adjustment on the throttle potentiometer which there was on the old system. You can see the deletion of the cold start and the plaque for the extra air has gone. It's now extra air is controlled by ECU on this valve at the back. These can be a bit of a pain on the on this system but uh, not too bad. Okay, fine. I thought we'd have a look at the two ECUs that are used in the two different types of fuel injected system. This is the earlier one, this is the Lucas L system uh, with the uh, flap style uh, airflow air meter. This one is the 14 CUX, which is the later hot wire flow meter. So, technically, this one is a computer, it has a processor, it's based on a motor roller processor. Uh, while this one isn't, this is more or less a state system, this is logic uh, which cannot be reprogrammed. Uh, so there's not many options for this one where you can remap this type of uh, ECU. So if I look inside, in the earlier system, if you open up, there's two boards sandwiched inside this unit. Uh, this is the, the two boards here populated uh, with the kind of state logic. Um, these two transistors drive the two banks of injectors and on a heat sink which is actually onto the casing of the box. If you look at the other side, actually you can see this is from the days when before CAD this would probably be hand made uh, tracks. So if you look inside the uh, later e uh, ECU, it's, you can see it's a much slightly denser packed board. Uh, and this one has a processor and a, a ROM which can obviously change the maps for fueling. Double sided circuit board. And some, some hybrid circuits.